Hi guys! Today I am doing a hair update video for you all and as you can see my hair is dark again. Um, it had been uh, over 13 weeks since I had last dyed my hair black so it had become this kind of brownish color, um, so my natural color actually. And um, I've been growing out my hair so as you can see it is quite long and I really like the length and I want to get some haircut done but since I'm not sure what I'm gonna get yet, I'm just letting it grow out. And in this video, I will be talking about the products I use and how I've uh, maintained my hair to keep it healthy. So I only wash my hair uh, twice a week, so every two to three days, depending. Um, and that's basically how I've been keeping it healthy. Also using only a small amount of shampoo. Um, so you put like a teeny tiny bit um, in your hands, um, the size of like a small nut or something. Really small amount, it just fits into your palm. That's enough most of the time, so you wash your hair. And the trick to knowing that your hair is clean, if, if the shampoo mousses a lot, so that you have a lot of foam in your hair, that means that your hair is clean. So if you're washing your hair and you don't have a lot of foam that's creating, just rinse it out. Uh, wash your hair again and then the second time most of the time you will have a lot of foam that's making itself in your hair then you know that your hair is clean so most of the time I only have to wash my hair once with shampoo um, sometimes it's two times it really depends on how hot it's been how clean my hair still is etc I have also bought some special products to take care of my hair I have always used products by this brand and it is called Hiliskur um, and I have been using uh, different products before I dyed my hair and now that I've dyed my hair again I am using mostly the same but some different products. So what I used to maintain my hair were the oil nutritive products, so um, the shampoo and the conditioner and um, yeah these have precious oils and these are specifically for long hair. So since I already have hair that is considered long I use products specifically designed for long hair and I must say that I really like these, they have a really nice smell and yeah, I washed my hair with a tiny bit of this and then after I washed it I put my conditioner on it and leave it for a few minutes and then rinse it out and that's basically what I usually do to uh, wash my hair in the shower then as I get out of the shower I put my hair up in a towel and leave it to towel dry and after 10-15 minutes I um, leave down the towel and just brush out my hair gently and I put this product on it and it is the Gliscur Total Repair Wonder Serum it is the everyday serum so this is for uh, dry damaged hair and it's just a spray that you spritz on your hair and it says it is for everyday use but it is described on the bottle that you can only use this on wet hair and since I don't wash my hair every day I just use this when I've washed my hair and when I'm in my room afterwards I just spritz it on, uh, rub it into my hair and then when my hair is almost dry I brush it through and you really notice that it is really soft after you um, use this product and it also smells so so good so I really like this and if you are looking for a good hairspray um, serum I really suggest getting this. I also got another product since during winter and spring we still have the heating on. I wear a lot of scarves, a lot of thick sweaters. So the ends of my hair, I don't know if you can see it very well, they got really fragile and really thin. So I got um, the Total Repair, Repair Anti Breakage Mask. So it is from the same line as the spray that I just showed you. And this is a conditioning mask. And every once in a while, so every week, every two weeks, I will put this on my hair instead of the regular condition, um, just because it nourishes the hair even more. Um, but I don't use this every time I shower. So then a few days ago, I decided to dye my hair black and I still had a short cuff uh, color mask, permanent intensive color in my room. And as you can see, I paid a discount price on it because it was the last one that my store had and I don't think they make these anymore or they don't sell them at the store that I go to at least um, and this was like a coloration in a jar and you really just had to put it on as if you were putting on a hair mask and it was really strange um, but I did quite like it and I like how the color turned out um, I did uh, my roots mainly 
and then um, with the leftovers of the pot I added a tiny bit of water, mixed it through and then brushed it with a white goof uh, comb through my hair to cover most of it. So if I'm in sunlight and you see my hair from up close you can still see in the lengths that there is some brown in it um, because I didn't have enough color to cover my entire head since I had only one package. I should have bought two but I really wasn't thinking to dye my hair this soon but yeah I decided to do it on a whim so it went really fast. And then now that my hair is black again I am using another uh, shampoo again by Glisker um, and this is the ultimate color shampoo for colored and highlighted hair and it is from the same brand so um, I combined this one um, with the conditioner of this one since I still have some left but once I finish this conditioner I will switch to the one that belongs with this guy and I am not sure if I'm gonna dye my hair uh, fully again really soon. I think I'm gonna wait at least until summer's over since during summer my hair color fades a lot. So maybe in September I will dye my hair back. In the description box down below you can find all the makeup that I am wearing. Um, also my lenses that I have in right now and I will also include um, all the products that I showed you in this video. If you have any questions at all, you can always ask them in the comments below. And I will hope to see you next week. Bye!